Hey guys, so today I have my March favorites for you. It's a few of the makeup products that I have been loving and a few little random things that I've been loving this month. So, let's jump right into it. I have like everything in my hands. I don't know why. So I'll put some down. Anyway, um, let's start with eyeshadow primers slash bases. Um, usually I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion, but I've currently run out of that and I'm too lazy to cut the bottle open and scrape it out so I'm not doing that anytime soon. So I've had little backups that I got in like kits from eyeshadow kits and whatnot. So I've been using these two and they are really awesome. This is the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I got this with their um, eyeshadow like Pro Palette. I don't know. It was some kind of eyeshadow palette and um, it came with a little primer. And it's really nice. It blends out to just a clear base and it's very nice. It holds your eyeshadows in all day and all night and works as well as the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Really like that. Um, I'm not sure how much a full size pro uh, product of that is costs, but this is a much cheaper option for, from the Lorac and the Urban Decay. This is the L'Oreal Paris decrease um, eyeshadow primer. It comes with a doe foot applicator like the um, Urban Decay Primer Potion does. Actually, I think the Primer Potion now comes in a squeeze tube like this. All my Primer Potions are outdated, <laughs> but uh, they still work, so I ha haven't gotten a Primer Potion that's a squeeze tube yet because I haven't needed to buy any. But um, yeah, so the Lorax is squeeze tube and this one is a doe foot applicator and I think this is around 8 or $9 and it's really nice. It works really well. Um, I'm using this one today under my eyeshadows and it makes the colors really nice and stays on, doesn't crease. It's really nice. So these are the two eyeshadow primers that I've been using lately. Um, next for my eyeliner, I have been loving the Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner in Black is Black. It's a eyeliner felt tip pen, and it comes with the pointiest tip you will ever find. It is amazing. I have a bunch of felt tip liners that I've tried out, and they're not pointy enough, and they don't give me a nice precise wing at the end of my eyeliner that I put on my top lid. So this one definitely is the best one. I think it is like 10 bucks or around that, but definitely worth the purchase because it is awesome and it stays on. It is not waterproof though. That is a downfall for me. That is the only thing that I do not like. But I always somehow put this on all the time because it gives me such a pre precise line that I love it. So And it's really black so it's really nice. So like that a lot. Um, also for my eyes on my waterline I have been reverting back to Black Track Fluid Line, which is just a gel eyeliner from MAC. And um, I just put it on my waterline. I know you're not supposed to put gel eyeliner on your waterline, but I do because it stays on and it is awesome. I love it. It's beautiful. Eye pencils always seem to just not stay on my waterline and fade and either come down my face or just disappear. But gel eyeliner has never failed me yet, so... Black Track Fluid Line from MAC is wonderful. Also, another gel eyeliner from Wet n Wild. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, that is a wonderful gel eye eyeliner as well, and it's only $5. So, definitely check that one out as well. But I haven't run out of this yet, so I'm still working on my MAC one. And I love it. It's really nice. Um, for eyelashes, I've been really liking the Benefit They're Real mascara. And it comes with a pretty cool wand. Um, it's just a rubber wand but it has like a little ball on the tip of the wand and you can get your eyelashes really well with it. The only thing is that it's not waterproof and um, and it clumps a lot or not really. Like it does but it doesn't. If you keep layering it on it starts clumping but if you just do it really precise and like evenly then you'll, it'll make your lashes look really well. So you're just going to have to get used to applying this, and then your eyelashes will look really nice. But the first few times I used this, I didn't like it at all. I was like, oh, my eyelashes look really strange. I don't know. But now I really like it. So benefit, they're real. It's a bit pricey, but I have been liking this recently. I'm not sure if I would repurchase it because drugstore mascaras work pretty well, and they're a lot cheaper. 
Alright, so for my lips, I've been really liking this Jordana LOL Lip Out Loud Super Shiny Gloss. And this is in the color ASAP. And I thought it was really cool. It's like holographic like lip gloss and really shiny and I really like it. Um, it looks really nice over any lip l lipstick and it looks really nice alone. So, been really liking this and it's pretty cheap. I think it's only like two dollars. So, check that out. And I think Jordana's only sold at um, Walgreens. Maybe Rite Aid. I'm not sure. But I know it's sold at Walgreens. So, I like that. Um, for my eyeshadow, I've been really liking the NYX 10 Color Eyeshadow Palette in Champagne and Caviar. It's always been one of my favorites. It comes with a nice giant mirror, but I don't really use that. Um, and really awesome colors. I really like the colors. Um, and this is how I did the look on my eyes today. I have used this palette, and I love it. So, it's been one of my favorites for a long time. Um... For perfume, I have been loving my Nicki Minaj perfume. It's the weirdest bottle I've seen in my life. You had to like pull her head off and um, to get to the perfume. And it's like a body thing with a necklace that says Nicki Minaj on it. And then you put your he her head back on and it's shut. But it's really cool. It's called Pink Friday and it smells really good. It smells similar to Viva La Juicy, but a little bit different. But it smells nice. So I've been loving this perfume. Um, now, for lotion, I have been in love with the Victoria's Secret Forever Blushing Lotion. Um, it smells delicious. Oh, I can't get over the smell. It smells so good. But, um, I'm not sure if they sell this anymore. But, um, it smells so good. It's Pear Blos Blossom and Sheer Lily. I don't know. But this is a really awesome body cream. It smells delicious. If they still have it, you should go and smell it. Um, okay, these are my two random favorites of the month. My favorite, like, treat and food that I've been obsessing over are these giant Rice Krispie treats. They are awesome, but the calorie count on this is, like, freaking insane. But they're so good. They're delicious. I can't. There was, like, this box in the supermarket for, like, I think $8 for 10 of these giant things and I was like yeah I'm going to buy that because these are so good so I've been obsessing over these they're so good and the last random favorite of the month is my thermal um, Contigo container so that's the brand Contigo it has a button a button on the back that says auto seal because when you push it the mouth opens so when it's pushed, that's open and you can drink out of it. And when you release it, it shuts. So like nothing can come out. And it is like, it's double walled. So it keeps your um, like tea hot for like five hours and your drinks cold for 12 hours. And it's, um, it's non-leaking non or whatever. It's really awesome. It's really easy to clean. And I really like it. It was a bit pricey. I think it was like 18 or $20. But it's definitely worth the investment. Um, this month I was in my first cabaret, so I sang a few Broadway songs for people, and it was really cool. But, since I practiced so much, I started drinking tea, and I needed honey and tea, and lemon and all that, and now I'm, like, addicted to drinking tea, so my throat, like, is soothed and, like, calm and whatever, and ready to sing. So, um, I have been addic addicted on tea, so I would put it in tea in this when I go to work, and I'll just, like, drink my tea throughout the day, and it's really awesome. So, yeah. Those are all my favorites of the month of March. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you to all my subscribers, and please subscribe. Bye, guys.